Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry I missed the video last week. It's just been so crazy. But I think I've worked out my schedule and I'll be back every week with a new video. If you're new, welcome. I'm Tanya with Yanza Creations. And on this channel, I like to do my two favorite things and that is crafting and experimenting. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out my newest printer. I'm going to introduce you to her in a little bit. I'm finally able to use my A3 DTF films. This was sent to me um, months ago by Gozai. They sent me the A4. I did a video on that, but I got the A3 and I'm finally going to be using it because I got a new printer. So you would be thinking that it's a new DTF printer no it's not it is a regular printer so it is going to be a dtf hack but it's going to be using inkjet ink so i've used inkjet ink only once it did not work out for me but uh it didn't work out that well uh but i have a new printer and this new printer can do a3 sheets so i'm gonna try it out again so I did have an A4 um, uh, Epson EcoTank that I had used for EcoSolvent printing and that went down almost a year ago and I decided to replace it to purchase a new EcoTank and when I went to do that I found this printer that will do the A3 but I'm going to keep it as an inkjet and my current um, EcoTank inkjet ink printer I'm going to convert that into an eco solvent printer so if you want to see that go ahead and hit the subscribe button that video is coming up shortly I am going to be draining the ink from my Epson eco tank and I'm gonna be cleaning that up and replacing it with eco solvent ink so if you want to see that subscribe and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll see that. So let me go ahead and show you the printer and the design that I'm gonna be using. Okay guys, I'm gonna move you quickly across to the other side of the room that you have never really seen. Don't worry about that utility closet back there. We're focusing in on this table here. So as you can see, I've got two printers over there. These printers are new. The one over here, this is a colored laser jet printer so i'm coming up with a video on that soon so as you can see that mug over there it's a regular dollar tree mug and i've been able to transfer super bright colors to this mug using my laser jet so also if you want to see that that's another reason to subscribe and hit the notification bell but today we're going to be using this printer we're going to be using this printer right here. So this is my new baby and I can do up to 11 by 17. So it's an inkjet and I'm just going to go ahead, put in my A3 sheet and we're going to see how it does. So the Gozai film, the A4 went through my top loading printer quite easily but as you can see this one is going to be in the drawer and we have to put the sheet in uh with the non-print side facing up and it will just roll itself over and print on the side that we want to print on so i have no clue whether this printer is going to take the film or not so we're all going to find out about that today all right so let's get to it the design i'm going to be using I'll put right here on the screen. It is from where else but Creative Fabrica. I saw it and I thought it was super cute and had to have it. So let's go ahead and send it to the printer. Okay, the printer is getting ready. So we're going to see if it picks up the film. And we're going to see. Okay, so it's not detecting tray 2. So let me go see what's wrong okay guys i got it to print i'm gonna tell you what were the settings i needed to do to get that done in just a moment okay i'm not sure what i did wrong but here is my printout and as you can see a portion of that is missing so i've got to go back to the drawing board i need to see what did i do with my settings why a huge chunk of my design is missing so 
I'll be back shortly. All right, so we're gonna try this one more time. Uh, let's see. Uh, it, well, at least we know that the printer will take the film with no problem. All right, taking it with no problem, and that's what I wanted to know, that it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the printer again. All right, looking good. It takes the film so easily. Okay, everybody, I'm not sure what's happening. Clearly, I'm going to have to uh, practice a little more with this printer. So the first time I sent it to the printer, um, a huge part of it got cut off, but it was really nice and bright. So I was printing from Inkscape when I did this one. I'm not sure what happened, why it got cut off. I switched over to printing from Microsoft Word. So when I set it up in Microsoft Word, it printed out great, except that the color is pretty dull, as you can see. It's not, it's not bright like this. So, um, and when it printed, it fell, and I got some ink smudge, but I did go ahead and put the powder on it. So while I was waiting for my convection oven to um, heat up so I could cure it, I decided to send it to the printer again. So this was the second print that I, and this one is cured. But as you can see, it's not bright like this one. But I'm a little bit not liking the fact that this is so dark. So I'm going to see... What I can do, I'm going to practice with this printer some more. But for the time being, I do have some color in this. And so I'm going to go ahead and press it to the t-shirt. It's cured and all. So we're going to see how it turns out. So my printer is, not my printer, my press is heating up. We're at 210 and we're going to 325 and we're pressing for 25 seconds. And of course, it's DTF, so it's a cold peel. All right, my heat press is ready, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press it. All right, so there we go. We're gonna have a nice big print. I love that I'm able to go bigger. So let us let this cool down. Okay, so it's cool, so I'm gonna peel. I can't, I, I mean, I'm really disappointed with the color. Go ahead and see how this turned out. Well, it's peeling super easy, that's for sure. No problems. Okay, so it peeled up really great. And I mean, the text here is perfect for me. Hold on, let me overthink it. Maybe I am overthinking everything with this shirt, but I still need to figure out why I'm getting all these, why all my colors are so dark and um, why they're so, why are they so muted? Uh, so let me go ahead and give it that second press. Okay, everybody, so I went and I did my research and I found out why I was getting this pukey color instead of the nice bright color of the design. So this was my uh, final test when I actually got the right colors. So I didn't want to waste any more film, so I decided to just do it in a corner because I had done, this was the first one I did that fell. And then this is the second one that I actually did press I went I made some more changes and then I did a test print and I got back that same pukey color so of course I am three films into this mess so I just um so I decided that the next time I would do a test run I would just use that as a corner of the film and try to save the rest of it 
here is what I found out. So when I got this printer, I did all the setup on the printer, connected it to my Wi-Fi, everything. Then when I went to my computer, I just searched for it and it did a basic installation and that basic installation covered A4. So when you go to print A3, it does not give you the right set of colors. You have to make sure that the full set of drivers for the printer is installed. So once I installed the full drivers and I did my test print, I got the right colors printing from my A3 tray. So that was the issue. So that's solved. So we know we can get the right colors onto the um, onto this film and it passes through the printer with ease. By the way, I did switch films. I did use the, so we started out with the Gozai film. So just in case, um, this one, I did use the uh, Walesa A3 DTF film and both brands passed through the printer with no problems. Both of them went through easily. And so if you are interested, go ahead, grab Gozai, grab Walesa. And of course, my absolutely uh, favorite uh, DTF powder is from Walesa. I love that DTF powder. I've tried several others and they all work. They work great, but there's something about the Walesa one. It, it, um, it's very fine. So you can get fine and medium. I think the one I have is a fine. It goes on to, to the inks very nicely. It cures very nicely and it peels really, really nice. So that is my favorite one. Um, so this is not an ad for them. Just telling you what my favorite one is. So I am really happy because I fixed the color issue and now I'm able to uh, go bigger than my A4 and get a nice big design onto my t-shirts. So of course this is the DTF hack and so I am still limited to white and light but I do have another hack that I am going to use later on that will allow me to go on to blacks and that's using my laser printer. So again do remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when that is out. So thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.